hey traders, I started sending out my email trade alerts at the beginning of May. So I wanted to recap all the trades I took in the last four weeks. Uh, it was a great month. If we look at the, the totals at the bottom, you can see I personally made $8,235 over the last four weeks. You know, I'm trading bigger contract sizes. As you can see, most of my contracts were 10 contracts. You'll see a few fives. There's an eight. Um, but even if you only did one contract, because it was a total profit of 9.27, um, so multiply that times 100 for one contract, that's a $927 profit over that same period if you did just one contract. You know, again, you may not have been able to get in all the trades, or you may not have got the exact fills I got, but even, you know, you should have easily been somewhere around four or five hundred dollars per contract if you'd have taken, um, you know, the majority of these trades when I sent out the email alert. But if we go through them really quick, I try to um, separate them by trade, and what I consider a trade that is if I roll the trade, I still consider that as part of the trade when technically it's not, it's a separate trade. I like to group my rolls together and I don't really consider closing the trade out until I've finished rolling and moved on from that position. So you'll see some examples here in a second. Um, I group them by the actual stock as opposed to the date. So you'll see the dates are kind of going to jump around um, throughout the month. But um, you know, one of the stocks we traded was American Airlines. That was a trade we put on early on, um, on 5.4. And you can see I provide the strike price if it was a put or call. And in this case, it was a naked put. And you can see that I received a credit of 63 cents. I closed it for 13 cents for overall profit of 5 cents. Or I'm sorry, overall profit of 50 cents. And times my 10 contracts, that would be a $500 profit. And then the next one is Apple. We did two trades on Apple. The first one was a put spread that worked out nicely. I ended up making $380 on Apple for that trade but then I also put on a call spread later in the month that did not work out I took a $790 loss on that one that was my only loss out of all the trades I have a total of 24 trades not counting the rolls um, so I only have one loss for the month which is which is great um, AMD that was another one we traded for 240 uh, C City Group that was a great one that that trade only lasted like a couple days, I think, and got 450 on that one. Um, CAH, you can see here's an example of a roll where on 511, I put on the trade, I got paid 45 cents, but I wasn't able to close it out. So I rolled it, and that's why I don't show a profit for that line. And then I rolled it to 514, on 514, I rolled it, and you can see I received a credit of 0.09 for that roll, and then I was eventually able to close that out for 0.10, for overall profit of 0.44. So the overall profit is adding my initial credit of 0.45, the roll credit of 0.09 minus how much I paid to close it, and that gave me the $440 profit over that two week period. Uh, Chewy traded it several times and uh, we never had to roll those. So you can see on each one of those, we were able to get in and out in the same week and made you know, 480, 360, and 520 on Chewy. Disney was an earnings trade that worked out great got a nice credit of a dollar or five and since Disney was a little more expensive stock for me I only did five contracts instead of ten because so I like to try to roughly make between four and five hundred dollars each time so that's why since the credit was so high I dropped it down to five contracts and still was able to get my you know roughly five hundred dollars for that one Etsy we traded several times as well um, you can see made 505, 280, and here's an example of a roll for it. I sold the 72 strike for 59 cents, but I had to roll it. And that, so on 527, I rolled it to 69, the 69 strike, and then I was able to close it out for um, 0.35, um, which I typically don't close them out for that half a price. But I was wanting to move into cash because of Trump having a um, was talking about China on Friday. But I still came out with an overall profit on that of um, $290 when you add in both of my credits minus the cost to get out. Lyft, we traded a couple times, made well on it. MU was one that I had to roll for several weeks. So you can see we started MU on 5.8, selling the 46 strike, uh, collecting 51 cents, and then I rolled it for three weeks. 
I got two cents, 23 cents, and a penny on those rolls, and then I closed it for 22 cents, still an overall profit of 55 cents, but that's spread over four weeks. So ideally, I want to make that $550 just in one week, like we've seen in some of the other examples, but due to the rolls, I had to hold on to this longer than I typically would want to, but I still got out for a profit. It's just that you know, that 550 is now spread across four weeks. Netflix was a great trade as well. I know a lot of you couldn't get into it because Netflix moved too quickly after I sent out the alert. Um, but this is one I got in and out of within a couple hours and made $360 on it. Um, SPCE, TLR, TLRY, and Twitter. Um, those are trades. I'm sorry, not Twitter. SPCE and TLRY. Those are trades that I got into and got in and out of pretty quickly as well. Um, and, and made a nice quick profit on those. You know, again, like I said, typically I would not close them out um, when the price is that much. I typically want to close them out when it gets, you know, down to two or three cents. But since it moved so quickly, I was able to close it out within one day, and it didn't make sense to keep holding those positions just to make the last, you know, 20 cents on it kind of thing. So that's why I had went ahead and closed those out. Twitter is one we traded a few times. Um, had one week where we got in and out for 480, and then I had to roll it when I got back into it on 58. Um, got a 39 cent credit, had to roll down to the 28 strike, got a 13 cent credit, and then closed it for three cents for a total of 49 cents. And then Uber traded a couple times, that worked out great. Didn't have to roll any of those. Made 410 and 250 on Uber. And then the last one was Western Digital WDC. Um, got in and out of that one for a nice profit as well. So it was a great month. I mean, if I can have another few months like this, um, the year is going to turn out turn out pretty nicely. But again, we we never know from month to month. I mean, this was almost a perfect month aside from having to to roll a few times. Most everything I was able to get in and out. Um, but if in you know the month of June, if the market drops some and some of these some of our positions move in the money, then we'll be stuck rolling them, which means that when we roll them. We can't really generate a profit for that week. We'll get a small credit, like in these MU examples. You know, for this week, I got a two cent credit. You know, for me, that's twenty dollars for ten contracts. So, you know, it's not going to be a lot, but it's enough to keep me in the position and keep rolling until it comes back. Um, so, if we look at the trades that I put on Friday for this week, also, you know, when I sent out the email alert, I, I sent it out too quickly, and I did not change the dates because I, I still had the dates in from one of my previous email alerts. So it says expiring 529. Obviously, that was incorrect. 529 was last Friday. This should have been for 65 for this upcoming Friday. And you know, you can tell that usually if, if the date is wrong because the credit, there's no way you would get that big of a credit of 51 cents for something expiring on 529. Because I sent this email out on 529. So you would not get that type of a credit for uh, just one day. So that should have kind of alerted you to the fact that I made a mistake, but I did send out a follow-up email saying that, you know, this should be for 6-5. Um, so, you know, if you want to get into the, to these trades, you know, Monday, you know, here's the six that I put on. Um, again, you know, I would suggest opening a paper account with Thinkorswim. I made another video about how to do that and just go in and practice putting these trades in. You may not necessarily understand how the trades work or really what you're doing at this moment, um, but, you know, through the practice of putting on the trades and kind of following along, you'll start learning how the strategies work. Plus, you know, I intend to keep putting out more um, educational videos to help bring you up to speed on exactly what it is that I'm doing. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. If you're not on my email alerts, you know, send me an email and I'll add you to it. It's free, marketpremiumtrader.com. Um, I'll have the email also in the description. And I'd appreciate it if you just liked the video. That just helps get my channel more exposure and show up higher in the, the rankings for um, YouTube. Thanks.